Whether you're thinking of financial independence, early retirement, or just strengthening your investment portfolio value, at some point you may ask yourself, what would happen if I get the wrong timing? You've probably heard by now how time in the market beats time in the market, and I myself have coined this saying before. But when it comes to retirement, you have to be extra careful because timing may have a substantial impact on your retirement success. To illustrate this point, let me show you a simplified retirement scenario. We'll shorten the retirement duration to 13 years because I had limited data, but in reality, you'd be looking at least twice that length of retirement. Let's assume you hold a retirement portfolio comprising of the S&P 500 index fund SPY and the Nasdaq 100 index fund QQQ in which you're invested equally. Using historical data, we can simulate samples to represent different retirement periods. Another way to look at this is to imagine different people with the same portfolio composition retiring at different points in time. We're looking at an initial portfolio value of 1 million and a fixed withdrawal rate of 6% plus inflation. I know this is on the high side, but bear with me for now. From the historical data I was able to find on this index fund, I was able to generate 12 samples, which look like this. So for example, if you retired in 1999, things would have looked terrible. Your 1 million initial portfolio would be worth only 21k after 13 years. If you retired the next year in 2000, your portfolio value would have failed and you would have run out of money after some 11 years. Same story goes for the retirement in year 2001, although looking slightly less terrible. If you retired in 2002, however, you just made it. On the other hand, if you were lucky enough to retire in 2009, a phenomenal 13 years awaited you and you'd end up with a portfolio value in excess of 7 million. Now, I have to stress, this is not simulated data, this is actual stock data using a technique similar to that used in the Trinity study, which is the study behind the famous 4% rule. In our example, the worst case scenario where you had 1 million retirement portfolio and withdrew 60k plus inflation every year, you would have run out of money before the retirement period ends. The longer the retirement period, the greater the risk of running out of money. Now, instead of the Trinity method, we can generate samples using Monte Carlo simulations, which mean we draw samples from a distribution which we assume represents the stock market prices. Now, the advantage with this is we can generate as many samples as we need and we're not limited by historical data, as opposed to the Trinity study we saw earlier. Using Monte Carlo, I generated 20 samples over a 30-year horizon, again with a 6% fixed withdrawal rate. By the way, I'm only able to generate 20 samples due to the limitation in graphing such large volumes of data, particularly as each sample has almost 8,000 data points. And while 20 samples is far too few to draw any solid conclusions, it's sufficient for the general points I'm trying to make in this video. So, from the 20 samples generated, you can see a mix of retirement scenarios, some ending up in successes, while others in failure, including an outlier performance here. Let's take a closer look at these samples. Four samples fail, while a few had less than their initial value. It's not too dissimilar to the Trinity method. But again, the key message here is when you retire can have a major implication for your retirement success. I think it's important to stress this as it's often confused with the famous saying time in the market beats timing the market. People can easily misunderstand this as meaning it doesn't matter when you retire and withdraw your money as you're in for the long run. Well, the reality could not be more different as you saw earlier if say you retired in 2000. Now, there are a few things you can do to boost your chances of success, but the most obvious one is having a flexible withdrawal strategy. In our example, we simply applied the fixed X% percent rule, and you may have seen from my other videos a dynamic approach is preferred, even though this will make your withdrawals fluctuate wildly, as seen here. 
By the way, earlier I used a 6% withdrawal rate to increase the failure rate because I wanted to highlight the timing impact, but obviously the withdrawal rate matters significantly. And if you want to be extra secure, you may start thinking about an emergency retirement fund. Now, this deserves a video of its own, which is precisely what I'm going to address next. So make sure you subscribe and enable the notification if you don't want to miss it. That's it for me. Thank you for watching and see you next time.